Um, let's, look, let's look at the elbow in these kids, okay? I'll do nine weeks of it. I'll do that in the So watch, from here, it's the same stuff. I can't have cured in high mark. Hi, bro. We talked about the starting position. So, I mean, I have to take my elbows in and then shoulder walk back. And now my elbows are here. Okay, they're not here, because if they're there, cards just won't be up again. So, starting position, he's on my hips. So, think about this. I'm looking to pick a leg. So I'm going to use Carl's right leg, and I'm trying to bring my left leg underneath Carl's right leg. Does that make sense? The problem is my knee's just hitting into his. So the first thing we're thinking about is I'm going to straighten one of my legs. That's the first thing. The problem is now, you know, Carl's probably going to have his feet tucked in tight. Yes, I straighten my leg. So even though. I've got my leg to the mat. I just don't have the profile to bring my leg underneath. So I need to rotate my toe. Does that make sense? So watch my left toe, it's gonna turn. But now I can only turn 90 degrees and I still can't get my leg under his. So the detail is I have to turn onto my side. When I start turning onto my side, okay, I can actually um, turn my toes downward. That makes sense. So this drill is going to be from starting position. First thing I'm thinking about is that the cover. I don't want all the weight on Carl's knees because it's going to be difficult for me to manipulate them. So I can just get his hands on the mat and my hips are engaged. Okay. So once I get to there, I'm going to straighten one leg. Even if Carl has his feet tucked right, underneath my butt, I can still push one leg and kind of clear the space there. Now I'm gonna start turning on to my side, all right? Watch what I'm doing with my toes. My left toes come down towards the mat, and that turns my knee towards the mat, so I can physically get my knee underneath the cards. Once I'm there, now my elbow, as I crunch, is gonna push Carl's right knee between my legs, and then I escape from my left hip, When I get into starting position and I get Carl's hands on the mat, I know I need to straighten my leg and I know I need to turn on to my side. Now, if I turn 90 degrees perpendicular, Carl's going to take me. Yeah. So, we want to turn our body 45 degrees. So, instead of me turning to here, I'm just going to turn to there. Somewhere at this angle there. So the drill is, okay, I'm gonna elbows in starting position, I'm gonna get his hands on the mat, I'm gonna straighten my left leg and turn slightly on the main side. So this hand needs to come across. Because it's like a, a log, okay, your body is a log where branches sticking out, right? Your arms, so your arms out over here, just up in there, John. My arm's hanging on this side, it's actually restricting me from turning and Char can do things to it. So this hand comes across and it can assist in keeping Char over my hips. And I want to make sure that I don't bring it too far because then he can get pushed across and start getting into those kind of things. So sort of my elbow will be monitoring his hip a little bit further. Okay. So from here, starting position. Gonna get Char's hands on the mat. I'm going to straighten one of my legs and then I slightly turn on to my side and the detail is I'm turning my toes towards the mat. The ball of my feet's on the mat and that turns my left knee down. Just down to the other side. So now that can come under this foot. Now I just haven't got the profiler so what you can another wee thing you can do is shake that knee. It just comes underneath. I vibrate my knee. And now from that position, I need to get Carl's knee between my legs. So that just becomes a crunch. Once I capture it, I shrimp from my left side to my right side. So starting position, Carl's sitting up. I can either knee him in the butt, 
My hips are engaged. And now I'm going to pick a side. And more than likely, Carl's going to have his feet tucked under my butt. So, I can just straighten this leg. Now, if he, sometimes if he crosses his ankles even from there, right? I can straighten my leg and just bring it across. A little tip, you can't really see what ankle's on top, but if I straighten my legs, I can feel Char's right foot's on top of his left, digging into my left leg. And then I'll just wipe it. Then at the inside space, Char tries to actually get his foot back under again. It's very difficult. My left leg's glued to the mat. This comes across, and he's tight. I just like bump and bring it across. And now from there, I'm slightly turning on to my side. And I'm starting to bring my knee underneath Car's right foot. I'm turning my left foot towards the mat. Once I get my leg underneath this right leg, my elbow pushes the knee and captures it. And then I'm stripped on to my other side. I'm bringing an easy. Just watch what I'm doing with the people in the front. Starting to push. Getting hands in the mat. Straighten the leg. And now, turn on to your side. The thing that slows your back. Start really pushing with the feet. Just jumping. Turn the ball and make foot down. And sometimes that just becomes a little wiggle to get on the it. And now I want his knee between my legs. So my left elbow pushes. I never push for this. Any time I push for that, I'm taking it back. My elbow pushes. And now I just drop to it. Look in your left side to your right side. And his knee and the back of the leg. That'll give you somewhere to start. And then we'll show you another 30 things after.